Hi, second grade. Today we're going to find differences for basic facts using mental math strategies. And this actual mental math strategy that we're going to do today is the number line. Okay? Um, okay, so the number line is where you have a line like this one and it has a little, well, it's a long line going horizontally. Okay? Then you have little lines that go vertically up and down, and then <coughs> below them are the numbers that stands for that one line, okay? And sometimes you'll have number lines that don't have, a, like my number line up here on my board, it's got more like dots on it. You can see that. Here's up here, you know, if you were adding or something. Let's say we did two, one, two, plus three, one, two, three. And you can find your answer that way, okay? Um, so that's a number line. And when we do a number line, we can do subtraction on a number line or addition. I just showed you addition, but you can also do subtraction. You have a line. And you had seven, but then you wanted to subtract two. One, two, go backwards. Five would be your answer. Does that make sense? You're going back. Okay. So today, I'm going to give you a story problem, and you're going to show how they are subtracting, okay? By circling things, okay? So, the first one. Scott has 13 crayons. He gives three crayons to Tyler. How many crayons does Scott have now? So, the, your first number line right here is showing this. Scott had 13 crayons. Okay? So, you can see from zero, it has a line from zero all the way to 13, right? But then he gave how many crowns to Tyler? Three. Three. So we have to take away three. So from 13, you have to go three numbers back. So we're on 13, go back three numbers. One, two, three. Okay. Now I want you to circle the three that were taken away. Part of the, the blue line. Circle the blue line that was taken away. I'm sorry, I wasn't very specific in that. Circle the blue line that we're taking away. Okay, so what's the difference? When I mean by difference, that means what's the answer to the subtraction problem? 13 minus 3 equals what, everyone? 10. Ten. So let's write that down. Right here. Ten. And what is the thing that we were taking away? What should our label be? Grayson? Ooh. Three. No. What what's the label? What were we I, I know you're taking away three, yes. You were right, I'm sorry. But what what three what? What did we take away? Three what? Grayson? No. In the story problem, what were we taking away? Brandon? Crayons. So we have to write 10 crayons. Okay. We have to write 10 crayons. All right. Now, the next problem. Diane has 17 crayons. She gives 7 crayons to Anthony. How many crayons does Diane have now? Now, let's circle what she what she gave to Anthony. How many did she give to Anthony again, everybody? Four. Seven. Okay, how many did she give to Anthony? Seven. seven. She gave 7 to Anthony. So if you look at this right here, it goes all the way to 17, right? 
you want to take away 7, where would that get to? Take away 7. Seventeen take away seven would be what, everyone? Ten. ten. So you circle all the way to ten again. Okay, and once again we have ten crayons as our answer, right? How many does Diane have left? And last problem. James has 12 crayons. James has 12 crayons. He gives two crayons to Cassie. How many crayons does James have now? So we started off with 12, he gave 2 to Cassie. So can we circle the 2 that he gave to her? Circle the 2 he gave to her. How many does James have left, everyone? 10 again, 10 crayons. What pattern do you see? What is the pattern that you see? The difference in all these problems is 10 crayons. Now let me write these problems down. I had 13 minus 3 equals 10. 17 minus 7 equals 10. 12 minus 2 equals 10. Look at all these guys. You have 13 to take away the 3. That would make 0 1's left, right? You had, if you took away this 3, because this 3 is taking it away, you just have a 1, but you have to put a 0 with it for 0 1's. You, have, you still have 1 10, but you have 0 1's. Okay? Do you see how these numbers are like the same? The 1's numbers? Okay. And they equal 10 at the end. Okay? Alright, let's turn our page. Okay, we're going to talk about tens facts again. It says you can subtract instead to use a tens fact. Alright, so boys and girls, they have 14 minus 6. Okay, 14 minus 6. Now, that's not like our other ones, right? 14 minus 6, the ones that we did on the front. Remember, this number and this number were the same on the ones we did in the front, right? Okay, this is not the same. But we can kind of make it be kind of like the same. Okay, so what's this number again? Everybody? 14. Okay, it's 14, and but this is a 4, right? Can we break apart the 6 into two different numbers and one of the numbers be 4? Yes. 4 plus what equals 6? Kenley? 4 plus 2 equals 6. So this time, they want you to break it apart. And the reason why is because now you can do 14 minus 4 first. What is 14 minus 4? So you, if you had your line you went all the way to 14, and then you take away 4, what would that be? Jason? Yeah, you, then, now you have the 10. Now you're doing that, what we were doing earlier, right? 14 minus 4. We had 4 and 4, right? But that's not all. You can't stop there. This is where it's different. You can't stop there now. Okay, because the answer is not 10. So, now you have to subtract the 2 also. Okay, so now subtract 
10 minus 2. So 2 more would be what? 10 minus 2 more would be what, Ivan? 8. So 14 minus 6 is 8. They're trying to show you that you could do it easy, like try to make it 4 and 4 to make 10 first, but then subtract the, no the next number after that. Okay? All right. So now you're going to have show and share with the partners, but they want you to do the same thing as what they did up here. So let's do, um, let's see, let's do number four, okay, together as class. Okay, 13 minus 7. They want you to break one of those numbers apart. What number are we going to break apart? Lena? Seven. Yes, you're going to break apart the seven, okay? Now. What two numbers would we make seven? What two numbers could you add to make seven? Okay, I do want to say you could do six and one, right? But is six a big number still? Yeah. Yeah, six is still a pretty big number. So to subtract by that would be still pretty hard, right? What number is on the other one? Three. Can we do three plus something equals seven? Yeah. Yeah. What three plus what equals seven? Three plus what equals seven, Nina? Four. Three plus four. Okay. Now our seven is gone, okay? Because we broke it apart. Our seven's gone. We broke it apart to three and four. Okay, does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, so down here, what can we do? Uh, okay, so now we know we could do 13 minus three, right? 13 minus three would be 10, right? 13 minus three would be 10. Because we, we talked about, remember, 13 minus 3, whenever we have this number and this number as the same, we're always getting 10, right? Okay. So we have 13 minus 3 equals 10. But we're not done there, are we? What number do we have left still? 4. Now we have to go 10 minus 4. Write it down. 10 minus 4. What is 10 minus 4? 5? 6. 6. So then, you since we got 6 here, you have to put 6 up here too for the answer. Okay? Alright, try that with a partner. If you're going to have troubles or if you're still kind of not getting it, uh, Mrs. Uh, Freeze or I will help you.